Hello and welcome back to the Imperium, my friends. My name's Kalal and this is Rimworld and the Suspicious Cult of the Lost Ones. And we have a group of tribes people from nearby. So once again, I rolled on from last time, always waiting for the next event, just to have time pass, because otherwise it just takes up time when I'm recording. Uh, they want to use sappers to tunnel around our defences. I closed it. Whoops. How many have we got? Only 55! It looks like so many less. And I'm like, ah, that's half a hundred. Right, they're gonna tap. T they're gonna fucking do the exact same thing as the last team did. They're gonna sap around our defenses. It'll be this door here. They are all melee. Interesting. I think actually mold solves will be a good idea here. Similar to last time, we had the defense over at this door here. We used melee up front and then molotovs behind. Uh, I get the feeling that maybe if we have molotovs and melee behind them, that might be better. It looks like they're in fact going for the generator down here. That's a pain in the ass, as my guys can't easily get down there from the direction they're in. Uh, okay, we're just going to go through the freezer and down to here, I guess. This is, to, uh, this is getting even more convoluted. It looks like they're all going for the same door. Whoa, sorry, how quickly are you battering through these? These are granite doors! I don't care if you're a digger. That's insane. 30%. Okay, he's already in. Okay. Uh, ma man the mortars. Ma man the mortars quickly. Here they come. The two over this side of the fence are far too early. My bad. However, the ones this side come on. Nowhere near. <laughs> Crap. Everyone just run down here. We're going to need just brute firepower at this point. Here they come. Uh, good work, Finders and Puck. I mean, a bit early, but... Are you guys coming in or not? Here they come. If they're one at a time, I'm not going to bother with Molotov. They should just die. But I'm waiting until a crowd will start coming in. They do not like one of their own getting shot. So that's 53 left, so I need to kill another 25. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, another 25, that should be enough. Okay, they're starting to pour in now no matter what. Finders, please light that area up and then put throw one here. Because the doors have been destroyed, this shouldn't overheat in this room. Yes. Burn. Yes. Oh, Goldie, rip them apart. Oh, this is actually amazing. We <laughs> we may lose our table and chess table down here, but we can build new ones. Look at them all funneling into this just Molotov death maze. Uh, Puck, I think that area is on fire sufficiently. They don't uh, get automatically set on fire if they run through fire. However, if they're directly hit by a Molotov, they will. Oh, the fire! Scorpio, you're slow! Inisan, you're slower! Zyra, they'll hold them off. They've decided it's not worth it! I don't know where they're going now. There are... 34 of them still left. That's, you know, only 7 left to kill, really, before they flee. Let's send our... Hang on, how close are you to death? Uh, uh, it's only so, so we could save Borlu, greedy and volatile. Uh, it's perfect prisoner fodder for uh, perfect prisoner fodder for sacrifice, though. So if we send Duck, please capture Borlu. We've got Canrona there, who's underground with great memory. Oh, I like your stats. You are on fire, however. Can you please capture Canrona, Zyla Blue? Okay, Finders and Put, please stop throwing Molotovs. That should hopefully burn itself out. It may destroy the room, but I'm okay with that. Uh, we've rescued two. One for hopeful capturing and one for definitely uh, sacrificing. The rest of them, I guess, are going for a different set of doors. 
Looks like it. Let's get everybody over there. Molotovs in this case work beautifully. They often haven't. This time, oh god, that was amazing. Oh, Zyloblue's had an eye cut out. Okay, it's. Um, Roop, you are a paramedic. paramedic. That makes more sense. Can you please, Zyloblue, can you please go to bed? Now, here they come. Where are they going to go? Hopefully into this room here. Perfect, they are. There should be no match for our heavy gun line. Uh, he says, as they survive? Oh, they're getting cover from the generators. That's frustrating. <laughs> Visitors have arrived at Suspicious. They're terribly afraid to enter. You should be fine, actually, uh, visitors. Depending on where you're coming from, northwest or southeast, they are coming from the corner that these guys enter from. But they should be fine because they're going to flee in a second. Come on, guys! There we go. Get out of here, you punks! Simrex, good, good. You beat him. Beautiful! Excellent! Please, everybody disperse. There is a fire to put out. And, um, people to save. Oh! Oh! So I downloaded the prison labour mod. Because apparently that's one of the ways, or I guess the only way, we can actually get them to use these steel jail doors. That's what it said in the blurb, I've not tested it yet. But what it also does, apparently, is give you little emojis above your people. I'm not really sure what that's about, if I'm honest. Alright, fire's almost out. Everything's being cleaned up. This is a pretty successful defence. I'm not sure where Tajira is going. Please don't kill yourself, Tajira. Oh, hello, there's one out here who just, I guess, bled to death? Sanguine! I'm not happy about the body purist, but Sanguine Teetotaler is amazing. Death in two hours. The chances of us saving her are very slim. But Tajira, I believe, has quite a quick movement speed. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Not the greatest. 96 isn't bad. Please capture Lanras. And we can hopefully see about saving her. So if we set Byra Byrol to force to work, that should mean in the work tab... Oops. Ah, here we go. Prisoners at the top. We have the opportunity to set by our role to actually do some work for us. And that can be anything from mining to construction to anything you see there. It makes the game... It increases the, the ease of the game. For example, I'm probably going to get them to do mining for me. Because they're in their own little zone. Um, however, that would be... It, would, should, it should mean that they can use these doors as well. Um, this is our pet door. Can... Hmm, I don't see Byroll on there. Oh, did a bit of cleaning. Can you move out there and do some cleaning? Come on, Byroll. Whilst we are waiting for everyone to be healed, I am going to set Zyloblue to have his Barnic Foot removed, but replaced with an advanced Barnic Foot, as Zyloblue is our main component generator. Speed is of the essence. Oh, we're up to 33 components. That's amazing. Okay, we've got an expand labour area here. Labour area is an area where only prisoners can work. No colonists work allowed here except warden type jobs. So, ooh, labour area isn't required to make prisoners work. This area forbids colonists from working. That's actually kind of what I want. It's for situations where you don't want colonists to work in certain areas. Prisoners will work anywhere they can enter. Brilliant. That's actually perfect. I don't want the colonists to work in these zones. I'd rather prisoners smooth the floors and, and built the prison themselves. That sounds perfect, although I do want my colonists to go in there and build that stuff. So, Byroll should now go and work. We have wardens, quite a few wardens, who should motivate Byroll to work. Let's see if it happens. We even have a work or sleep schedule going. Let's set Byroll's work from the hours of 10 till 3 and see if that makes a difference. I really want her to be able to go out of this door on her own. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Whoops, 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 whoops. Did not want these built. <laughs> Shit. Forbid section. I 
click by accident when I was doing an on for beard and I, put, I let them build bees. I love your, your moxie guys, you, you rushed out there and you probably put all my components in them. 11 components at least have gone into these, that's frustrating. Uh, shit. It's good, we want the hydroponic setup eventually. But since we can't even fucking grow anything at the moment, we're only just getting off our, on our feet with, you know, a raid and trying to deconstruct Door City. Now is not the time. Right, now that Gator's awake, time for Zyla Blue to be tended to. I really don't want to have to lose another Bionic Gator, so if you could please do this, like, well, that'd be fantastic. Just, just, just do it, it's fantastic, just be amazing. Just remove the foot, that should be easy for someone of your skill, and then just attach a new foot. It, like, you don't even need to change the attachments, you just need to, you know, lock in a new foot, essentially. Excellent, bionic foot, there we go, beautiful, now the next. Failure isn't even an option. Par apparently it was an option. Apparently failure was indeed an option. God damn God damn it. Alright, put the put the other foot back on. If you so if so much so help me God, if you fail this, it's all bionic foot, right foot. Where where is the bionic foot gone? Did you lose a different foot? Or was that taken from underneath you? I'd have to watch the footage again. If shit if Greater lost two feet in that operation. Right, just don't fail, Gator. There's no need to fail. In fact, I don't think you should fail. I think you should try not to fail. Excellent. So the Blue's going to wake up with the exact same foot on. Brilliant. <laughs> I hate wasting a fan's bionics. It's the worst. Aha! Byral's out of her room. I have to assume that was because she walked out herself. Now, oh, you don't actually have a job. I've told you to work in the area. I haven't told you what to do. Can you please mine this by a roll? No, you are scheduled to work and you are scheduled to mine. Ah, can she get through this door? No, no, she can't. Right, Roop, if you could please... If you could please unlock these doors, that'd be great. We get good, we've got, you got somebody, Christ. We don't all need to do one single door, you know. Excellent, she's now able to go into a different room. Oh, that's fantastic, and start mining. Beautiful, absolutely fucking beautiful. And because it's a labor area, my colonists won't bother with this, which is great, it gives them stuff to do. When they're finished with this, when, when the prisoners are finished with this, like, remodeling, they can then start doing the work into mining into the hillside. Oh, that is fantastic. Yes! They can do more than just mining, as you saw on the work tab, they can do pretty much anything, although apparently, it's unclear from what they said online, but they, they can do anything, but they uh, do it at like a zero skill or something. It's, it's unclear. Oh, but that is just that, that is just amazing. I, I'm, oh, I'm so happy. Finally, they can go and watch TV and relax. I, maybe I need to set this up for viral. We're gonna say you don't need as much sleep as you are getting, but you should definitely try and get some recreation. A happy prisoner is a working prisoner. <laughs> I sound like a fucking government <laughs> poster. That's awesome, that's fantastic. Uh, brilliant, we are actually working on Door City now. Now that we've freed up our prisoners to do the mining in the prison, this leaves our colonists free to safely deconstruct Door City in preparation for Operation Gun to the Face. Excellent. Interestingly enough, virals on recreation, but won't go into this part of the room here. Do I need to... Do I need to do this? Now that that room's made, I guess we can just go and relax, Byron. If I change it to a gather spot. Because she's an undergrounder, I guess actually because she's an undergrounder, she is literally relaxing in the dark. Motivation's going up. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, oh, it was all going so well. I hear it to my left. Please. Please. No, not up. Oh, ah, oh, I was going so well. It was going so very well. Oh my sweet lord. Are you kidding me? How many are there? Whose rooms were these? The beds are instantly destroyed. I don't even know whose rooms they were. Doesn't even say it's just room now. 32 mega scarabs. 31 hives. No, sorry. 30 spellipedes. 32 mega scarabs. That's mega spiders, sorry. 25 mega scarabs. And 31 hives. Brilliant. Oh, just so brilliant. Oh, they're going to destroy everything. Oh, I hate it. Uh, okay. Okay. How do we deal with this? Right. Well, we need our melee being melee. They're, they're melee for a reason. They're good at their jobs. Um, oh, come on, Ili Sam. I believe what we need is fire. Fire's worked for us before. Grenade. Oh, my God. We're down to six, seven hundred food. Oh, we are screwed, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, priority one warning. When this transport pod is built, uh, we need to send food over to uh, <laughs> Suspicious. Oh, God. Oh, we may even have to use. Start, oh, we're going to have to start using insects in our meals, aren't we? <sighs> okay, priority one is fire. I think we need to get all of these Molotovs and this incendiary launcher and start using them to blanket fire. These, the say spiders, the, the insects aren't smart, they'll run through it. There we have our line of melee to hold them up whilst the rest burn. That's the best chance we have at this. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. That's riled them up a bit. Here they come. Run, run, go to run. Oh, don't get hit by your own friendly fire. Kalan was. Uh, okay, Kalan, you're gonna dip dive in there. Uh, Gator, get the fuck back. Right, cuz, I want you lighting up this point. They are gonna, oh, they're gonna trash everything, aren't they? Hopefully they make at least make a beeline for us. Oh, it looks like they are. Come on, guys, burn it down. Excellent. Yes, just burn, burn. Soon as we become a raging inferno. At the moment, it's going to be quite de deadly for us, but soon. Yep, yeah, can't put that fire out. That's beautiful. That fire's an issue, if I'm honest. Where's Random Guy? Why are you at the front? Okay, Random Guy, I want you to go there, then there, then there, then there, then there. And hopefully you get them before that bur door burns down. Uh... Come on, guys. Burn them down, literally. Roof and Simrex, you've got to hold the line. Tobs, move forward. Oh, that is getting to inferno levels. How are we doing for temperature? Indoors, 48. Okay, uh... Inisan, please hold open this door. Okay, and then go back. That should deal with the temperature. Oh my god. If we win this, I'm going to be so surprised. Uh, uh, come on, door, hold it, hold it. Random guy, get through there, be quicker. Oh shit, that door mat's on fire as well. Only the little ones making it through. The rest seem to be burning to death. And they are stop. They are piling up there, which is perfect. Can you guys not destroy any more of my base? Can you please come this way now? Oh my god, they are absolutely wrecked. Oh my ah, oh, they. <sighs> god damn it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, more killing, please. The first mega spider has made it through. Hopefully, won't last long though. Oh, indoors here it is 81 degrees. It is really, really heating up. 
Uh, we're going to start overheating soon. This door needs to be deconstructed. Just holding it open won't do the trick, apparently. Kajira, quick, deconstruct the door. Okay, instantly it's down to minus 28, which is not perfect, but it's good. Oh, and has Random Guy saved it? Has Random Guy saved that door? Nope, nope, door's gone. <laughs> Shit. Hopefully they don't go through that hole then. And Random Guy can access the blocker. This inferno is insane. Uh, Simrex, why are you there? Uh oh, they're starting to get into the uh, into the kitchen. Oh, random guys, fuck! Just put the fire out, random guy. No, didn't fifteen. Should be fine. Should be fine. As long as random guy doesn't burn to death. Oh, that's an issue. Come on, guys. It's about a hundred. Yes, burn spider. It was about a hundred insects. We can do this. Oh god, this is beautiful and horrible as they're probably going to spread their fu the fire around by burning all over the place. But as long as we can just kill them all, then it's great. Oh my god, everything around Random Guy is on fire, but Random Guy isn't yet. Oh my god, the beer's on fire. How does that affect beer? Is it going to exp uh, Is that going to explode? Uh, um, hmm. I don't know, we just stay the course. If Random Guy goes, I'm very sorry. We just have to stay the course. Scorpio was having a tantrum because he was really hungry. Okay, that's fine. Just don't go down, Scorpio. Okay, you three. I want you to go outside. I don't think we need any more fire. Fire power, yes. Fire, no. Oh shit, the door I was guarding burnt down as well. Holy crap. Uh oh, Random Guy is now on fire. Quick, get through, get through to Random Guy. Get through to Random Guy. He's gonna have, he's gonna be so fucking injured. Okay, uh, Gator, rescue Random Guy. Woo! Okay, we should be okay now. Oh, if, if Robo Goldie can run around the inside just to eat a meal, I think we're okay. Okay, fires pretty much dealt with. I think that went quite well. We need some melee. Uh, hopefully those who aren't injured, like myself. And... I'm just going to take Simrex. Uh, you two, please, come this way. The Katana Bros. Rocket League Pals and Katana Bros. And they're going to clean up all these hives. Ugh. Okay, Simrex is having disillusionment, so he's not going to help with the cleaning up of the hives. Uh, everyone else probably should eat or sleep and or both. Okay, Zyla Blue is going to help instead of uh, Simrex, as Simrex is abandoning the cult, believing that maybe the Chaos Gods aren't the answer when you're faced with deadly spiders. I think he's wrong. A medical emergency on Roop, he's now got an infection. Tops is fine, just a couple of cracks. Random guy burnt heavily, but should be okay. Uh, was that all we had, injury-wise? Uh, root random guy. Simrex is down, but he's off helping me. And Zyla Blue, as well, is, is doing some killings. Okay, we lost six bedrooms. Um, and a load of wall lights and, and doors and other such stuff like that. But we're alive. We're alive and that's the important thing. What I will have to do because of food issues is unfortunately... 
unfortunately, we're going to have to make insects a uh, a priority to to butcher and cook. It sucks, but it's just what we're going to have to do. Saying that, actually, we did we did <laughs> we did receive one thousand four hundred and two insect jelly. So that hopefully will keep a balance between the insect meals and the, the nice stuff. I do say that that's probably one of the most effective dealings with a, an infestation we've ever had. Hardly anyone really got injured that much. And that was the biggest infection we've ever had, for sure. Annoyingly though, they did destroy a lot of walls. Oh, you're kidding me. Another one. <laughs> it's got to be Solus, right? It can't be here. It would make sense. There's a lot of tunnels near here. Let's have a look. Only four this time. But it would, again, make sense because we don't actually have much in the way of... Uh, we don't have much in the way of defences or people. Um, or value here. 18 sec jelly. What we got? Four mega spiders... Three spellipedes. Yeah, that's it. There's no scarabs. We've only got the big boys. That's irritating. Uh, I'm not. We're gonna wait until tomorrow to deal with them. There's, as it's a smaller raid, we definitely can leave that a little bit. Viral's making some work and some progress on the area over here, which is nice. We've got Bolu as well, who we're gonna do the exact same thing for. We just want to force to work. And you should be able to just go and do mining straight away. Oh, or sleeping. You know, whichever. Fairly good. It's just a volatile and really we don't like. So if we go to the work tab for prisoners. Interesting. We'll make you a three in mining as well. Okay, so this is time. I think we should kill the insects. Because they're spread out over so many different narrow pathways. This is one of the reasons I like doing the, the weird sort of hash method of uh, tunnels is that they shouldn't all come at us at once especially if we sit down this long narrow corridor and we do indeed have grenade launchers i think we should only use one of those grenade launchers but i think it'll be important to use it anyway okay the gang's mostly gathered biohazard's just slow as fuck uh we'll move everyone forward to have jackie at the back with a grenade launcher and they seem to be coming towards us that's quite irritating Come on, Jackie, light him up. Make it a direct... That was not a direct hit, unfortunately. Snowman, you're going to take the brunt of this, but we should be able to slow them down enough that Jackie gets another shot at them. Oh, a direct hit on the Mega Spider. That'll be doing some damage. They're not coming from anywhere else, I hope. Not, doesn't look like it. Come on, Snowman, you can definitely take that one spellipede. Yes. Mega Spider, three down. Jesus, Jackie, that was close. <laughs> Jesus, Jackie. How many more alive are there? Oh, no, there are some Mega Scarabs, and there they are, just the two of them. Uh, in fact, Jackie, you know what, you can just go and, and away. You, we don't need you, really. We've got the three... Musketeers behind a snowman. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hear I hear an animal under attack. Whoa, where the how did you Oh Yeah, that makes sense. Biohazard, save Rosarita. Oh no, not Rosarita, not again. Rosarita was the pup was it the pup that got punched by cat before we recruited her? Oh god. Uh, okay, snowman in here. Please finish them off. Gang, musketeers, assemble. Come on, save the pup. Who's pregnant? Oh god. Ah, oh, pup's down. Biohazard getting in there with a the steel gladius. But there's a plasma steel longsword. I'm not sure of anything anymore. Okay, back up, Biohazard. Yes. Okay. Can someone please save the pup? Ugh. 
And his son's now starting the first cuts on insects. Oh, we've already had one. But I don't appreciate it. It's really not fun. To what, how are there elk in here? What the fuck? What? Why? What? Uh, it's just the open door, isn't it? <laughs> we have an open door policy on elk, apparently. Okay, we have some more art over at Solace. Uh, we've got ourselves a normal one by Shuzgo, a normal one by Shuzgo, and a good by Shuzgo. So the normal, the first normal. Scarlet's way of walking. Hmm, sexy. On this sculpture is an artwork of Scarlet smacking by her or capturing her with smiling dominance. Byron looks resigned to her fate. Subjects are in front of a city. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay, it's all right, it's all right. A divinity. This work bears an artwork of a divine Fletcher moving to the left, eating a carrot. Hmm. And chess. On this work is an illustration of Tajira inscribing his name on an armchair with a satisfied expression on his face. I always find it weird when they have artwork about people creating artwork. It always makes it always a bit like, like yes, this is what I wanted to, to create. I'm like, really? Did you? That? But I guess they just go in random rooms. None of them are about people who are living out here. So random rooms it is. I did a little digging around and it seems that recreation time doesn't actually make much of an effect for prisoners. Um, you can see Borlu here and Byrol just walking around with that green arrow above them. That's them increasing their motivation. You can see the motivation is through the roof. They won't work if they're, if they're not motivated unless the warden kind of steps in at 50% and they just stop, stop dead at 20. However, they are just wandering around inside dark, rubbish rooms. I don't know how to get them out of those rooms when they're not labouring. Maybe I have to do it manually. Get out of there, you punks. Didn't work. <laughs> Uh, has, however, convinced my guys to come down and start uh, getting these rocks. Um, that is a frustration. But eventually this place will all be lit up and they'll all have their own room so it'll be fine. But until then... Ah, here we go. Yes, now recreate yourself around here. Let, let's, if I just... What time is it? 2200. If I just mess with stuff for a second... They'll finish eating, and now they're recreating in a nice room. Re Why did you put one insect gel? Goldie, what? Is that just like a little snack? Are you hungry for? M oh, I guess you are. Yeah, no wonder one didn't do much. Curse actually brings a fucking no, nope, no cold. Curse doesn't bring a meal. Uh, are we starving them? Is this some sort of? Prisoner test. <laughs> Why is no one bringing viral an actual meal? Here, you are allowed one insect jelly. Ah, uh, six insect jelly. It is your lucky day, viral. This is such a weird thing. Ah, duck's gonna bring an actual meal. Hey, viral has had a lot of food now. That's brilliant. I'm, I'm unsure about this, but we'll just put that back on for now, and hopefully they can get to doing this later. <laughs> so confusing. We're, get, we're getting there. We're understanding it bit by bit. So it seems that the 90... Mm, let's say 90, but let's say about 60% of the stuff has been rebuilt. Lights have come back on. Bodies have been removed. They're in here ready for burning. I was going to use them for food, but it seems like we don't need to. I also have 140... Okay. It seems like we did already use them for food. <laughs> There's a lot of insect meat in these meals. But that is good. 145 meals should keep us going for quite some time. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the, of the, the insect stuff now. And I'm just going to confine them to be burnt. And that should hopefully be the end of that. Um, we still obviously need to deal with the poison ship. As we are, I have been ferrying food over from Solace to, um, ooh, we can do another batch, in fact, from Solace to Suspicious, just to keep them going, because Solace has a lot of food. Um, we just need a little bit more time, just a little bit more time, until we can get this area up to scratch. The infestation, all infestations really do a number on your pro productivity. There's almost nothing you can do. Why are you... 
You're sleeping on the floor. Okay, have a normal bed. <laughs> I need another room set up for for Canrona, but for now, uh, we're gonna leave her there. I just need this set up. We just need this finished, and we're good to go. So we've got some new arts over at Suspicious. We've got uh, one by Roop here, an Oasis. Tra <laughs> I'm trying to search for some deeper meaning here, Roop. I don't find it. Uh, but poker playing is what this zone is all about, that room. Now we've got a red feather from Nico. Excellent. On this carving is a depiction of a rocket. The sensual style of the central scene clashes with the erotic depiction of, of what background? It's just a rocket in a town. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, it can go out there, I guess. No, it should go in a room. It's excellent. It should tell you what, fuck it. It'll go in our workshop. <laughs> Come on, guys. Breaking through the last part of this bloody rock. Once this is gone, once that is gone, we can start deconstructing Door City. I don't want to deconstruct Door City before this happens, though. What? My god. When did this happen? Guardian 1 has been killed. The Divine letting out a blast of light. Gator looks like he was on the way to help, but... Guardian 1 was either, attack, atta either attacked or was attacked by a bear. And... Just... Got killed. Our last Guardian. Looked like Guardian 1 started the affair five hours ago. And four hours ago, collapsed. How did I not get a message? I must have got a message and just completely missed it. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, that is... That is gutting. That's the last of our Guardians. We are now a Guardian list. We need to buy cats. We need to get cats and we need to transform them into... Uh, you're going to get hunted there. Sorry, you're going to die. Uh, we're going to need to buy cats and get them transformed into more Guardians. Because I'm disgusted. I'm horrified. And hopefully we have Guardians that aren't so old and have asthma and blindness. That's probably why the Guardian lost, is because she's profoundly deaf and blind. So literally can't see, can't hear, but still stumbling around trying like I sense an enemy, and trying to attack. I mean, no wonder the Christy Bear won. But what a sour note to end this on. I was I was basically doing nothing for the last, like, half hour, just watching time go by. Our power's in a bit of a state. I'm not sure why that's happening, whether there's a leak or anything. But apart from that, the base is just as it was, the prisoners mining and getting stuff done. And I was really hoping that by the end of that, that this would all be mined out, and I could be like, well, well next time we'll just deconstruct all city and we'll be done. But yeah, it didn't really turn out that way. Um, I'm 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 just I'm distraught a little bit. Well, we're gonna cut it there. Uh, I'll probably still play time on just because I really want to get this this. But it's been so long since I said, hey, let's build a new base, let's get new turrets. It's probably like ten episodes since I said that, like new defenses. But this is taking so long to deal with because all our miners are somewhere else. Uh, so I'll play time on to try and get this finished. We'll see if that actually works out. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Man, we need more Guardians. We need so many things, but Guardians are the top of the list. Bye!